In my statistics course, I can be given a situation where there's going to be a sample survey and I can be asked, what are the characteristics I want in my sample? In the example that I'm going to use, there is an all-girls school that is located on an island in this city. The girls are going to be asked, would they like to be able to come to school by train? So far, most of the girls who travel to school come by bus. This is the purpose of the survey. So let's look at the characteristics we want in our sample. The first characteristic is gender. The gender of those questioned in a survey should be proportional to that of the population. Well, in this case, it's an all-girls school, so I'm only asking girls. Next, we'll look at age. The age groups questioned should be proportional to those of the population. Most of the people in the school are teenagers, but that well, although that is a narrow age group, there are different ages within it. We might have people from 12 to 18 years old. So what we'll do is we'll try to ask equal numbers from each age group. How about income level? Decisions about whether you want to take the bus or the train, how you travel to school, might have a lot to do with how much money you have to spend on transportation. So let's say in this case, 75% of the students in the school are from middle class neighborhoods and 25% are from higher income neighborhoods. Well, we will make sure that our sample reflects that. We will ask 75% people from middle class neighborhoods and 25% from high income neighborhoods in our sample. Education level usually means you want to make sure that the amount of college graduates and high school graduates you question in a survey are proportional to that of the population. But in this case, we can modify that. The population is a high school. So let's say there are five levels in the high school, five grade levels. Well, we will make sure to ask 20% of the people in our survey from each of the five grade levels so that all are represented.